And the match was a 3 0 loss to Millwall. Your thoughts on the match? Um, don't like losing any game, be it a friendly or a particularly a competitive game. So we're disappointed to have been beaten, but it was a good training exercise for us. Shows us how far we've to go to to try and get to a standard that is anywhere near where Millwall are at. Um, they showed how strong, how fast they can be. Uh, their athleticism and also their use of the ball was, was exceptional at times tonight. And uh, was we mightn't have played well, it was a very good exercise from our point of view that we have a long way to go. Positives, the second half, a, m- a much more positive Shelburne team out there. I know you made a few changes at half time, that seemed to make the difference. Well, yeah, um, we were confident enough with the team that we had going out at the start. Um, just p- poor play, generally, and uh, it cost us. But second half, we asked the players for a, a better response and we got that. And um, we should have perhaps scored. Chris maybe could, could have taken a better touch and finished it off there. But... It's an exercise. It's an exercise. Firstly, you don't want to pick up any injuries, and thankfully we haven't got any injuries. Mm-hmm. It gave an opportunity um, to guys who haven't had much game time of late. They got 90 minutes under the belt. That's a positive. The result is disappointing, but we can always work on the on the positives on the training ground and try and replicate some of the things that we, we saw tonight at first hand from a very good side. You had one trialist, Lawrence um, Gagan, playing tonight. He seems to have a good game in centre centre back. Yeah, he's done okay. Yeah, he's suffered a little bit with blisters. We took him out, so yeah, he's done okay for us tonight. Yeah, he was ha- happy enough for his performance. Kenny Jacket, welcome back to Shells. Thank you very much. Appreciate two, that. S- two seasons ago you were here yeah. with Millwall. Yeah. You're actually into your fourth season? As Is a manager? Fourth? Yes, As a manager. I think I'll be, um, it'll be four years in November, so the, the local press guys tell me. Yeah. Okay, so this is your um, tenth day back, is it, from for pre-season? We did ten, yeah, we did, yeah, but just about two weeks now. We did ten, ten days at home, uh, ten days hard work, and then came out here, and this is our first game. Okay. Yeah, Shelbourne's our first game. Yeah. You gave nearly every player uh, a run-out tonight. Yeah. You were missing two, obviously, Paul Robinson and Darius Henderson. Yeah, and David Ford as well. Yeah, don't forget, don't forget him. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Paul Ford um, out with Ford. his knee. Yeah, yeah. Paul Robinson is out with Paul his Robinson's knee. Paul yeah, Robinson's out with yeah. his knee, and uh, he won't be too long. He's our captain. He's centre half. Darius Henderson, we've just signed from uh, Sheffield United. He's over here with us, but uh, just as a groin, so I didn't rest, risk him tonight. And uh, David Ford is. Uh, as you know, the Republic of Ireland goalkeeper, but uh, is right. struggling with his Achilles, so he couldn't play either. How much will losing Steve Morrison to Norwich affect Millwall? Well, I mean, he's not, he's not somebody we wanted to sell, but, you know, in the end, you know, big bids come in and, you know, we're a small club and, you know, he's gone into the Premier League, so we wish him well. But we've got to work hard and um, we have to work hard at uh, uh, finding the goals and sharing it around the side. I'm pleased to say we have two good young strikers in McCoy, who's... Um, you know, just made his, his recently last season made his debut for Northern Ireland and scored two tonight. And Marquis, who's come through Millwall's youth policy, uh, and they showed well towards the end of last season. So you know, we've, we've high hopes for those two young guys, and also you know Darius Henderson, who, who is an experienced Championship striker, who we've signed from Sheffield United. So you know, at the moment that's our forward line. We're looking to add to that, but uh, we have to work hard at uh, uh, replacing Steve, and uh, you know, both internally and for players coming from from the outside. Millwall, obviously, the last two seasons have been very close to promotion. How much will it mean to you if you can get them to that, yeah, get to great. that holy yeah. grail in the yeah. end? We're, we're a small club in the championship, but you know we finished ninth last season, and that's a great finish for us mm. after getting promoted from last uh, uh, from League One the year before. But uh, the championship is a fantastic league. We've been out of it for some five years, so we we were you know. Di- uh, disappointed to be out that long, uh, pleased to be in it, pleased to be competing, and uh, always dreaming of that um, of that Premier League and that Premier League slot. Obviously, this season you'll have um, the likes of West Ham, Blackpool, Birmingham, who just went down. West Ham is a big is a big match for yourselves. It's like a, a local derby. It is a local derby, and you know we haven't had that league game for quite a number of years, so. You know we're pleased to be competing at that standard, and yeah, amongst amongst a lot of other games, we're we're looking forward to to, to that one particularly. We were speaking about Norwich a few minutes ago. Um, obviously, they have an ex Shells player, Wesley Hulan. How do you think Norwich and Wesley Hulan will get on in the Premier League? Yeah, I think they'll go very well. I mean, they're a big club, uh, probably the the biggest of the three that the three sides that went up, and uh, you know, twenty five, twenty six thousand, and you know, they're a terrific home support as well. So, I, I think their home form will be good enough to see them through. Myself, Norwich. Yeah. David Ford obviously has broken into the Irish squad now for two friendlies this season. Do you think he'll be pushing them, um, Shea Given now for? 
for the first well, team. Well, you know, I, I, I would imagine. I don't know. I can't double guess, Mr. Trapattoni, but I would imagine Che, given as, as of his stature, you know, will be, uh, will be the number one. But um, uh, David Ford's done very well to put himself uh, there or thereabouts, and uh, you know, he's. he's uh, done nothing wrong in the games he's played and trained very hard when he's been with the squad as well so you know he's done himself no harm and you know I hope there's an opportunity uh, for him in the future. We wish you best of luck from Shells. Thanks very much and thanks for your hospitality. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you.